I recently made a video about the Peloton Bike Plus Pro Max, a fictional bike with some features that my community and I would like to see on the next iteration of the Peloton bike. However, there are three Peloton bike accessories that are available right now, which <laughs> quite frankly, I wish I'd known about sooner. So let's get these fitted and we can see how good they are. Let's start with number one, which is a fan. And if you watch my videos, then you will know that my benchmark for a fan is this one on the Nordic Track S27i. So this is a brilliant fan. It makes me very happy. Let's see how this one compares when I put it on my Bike Plus. So one thing I forgot to mention is that all these products are from Trubly Fit. So I reached out to these, this company when these products arrived and they very kindly said, they're a US based company, and they very kindly said that they would uh, give my viewers 15% off their products. So if you're in the US, you'll get 15% off with the link in the description. If you're in the UK, uh, they've got limited stock here, so I will link you to their Amazon store, and if it changes and I can link you directly to a UK website, uh, I will do. We also have the power cable here, as well as uh, an Allen key and some strapping for the cabling. So this is for the Bike Plus, and I don't know if you can see, I'll try and focus. There's two ends on there, two different ends. So with the Bike Plus, this end goes in the fan, and this end goes in the back of your screen. Come on, focus. And then with the standard bike, both ends will look like that. Both ends will be mi uh, micro USB. So the next step is to fit this bracket and at the risk of sounding like your dad, there's some nice quality components here, metal components, and then you just do up the Allen bolts. Next step is to fit the fan. So the, the on and off button should be at the top and that just goes on there. And one thing I like about this, which I really like, is it doesn't mess up any of your hand positions. So you've got five hand positions, one, two, three, four, five on a Peloton bike plus, and uh, it doesn't seem to affect those at all. You've got full access to them all there. After I put the fan on, I put the power cable in there. Now it does say on the instructions to put the power cable in first, which is much better advice. So <laughs> I don't like cables, so hopefully I've hidden the cable well. What I've done is I've strapped it under the bottom there just so I can't see it when I'm using the bike. Uh, and then when I'm riding, you can see you can't see the cables. And then at the back here, what you may not know is there's a, an outlet there and this is what you're gonna use to power the fan. No time has passed for you. It's been about an hour for me. I've been playing with this little fan and it's really quite good. So I'll, I'll put it on the first level uh, and you can see what it sounds like. So I'm not wearing, and this is blowing directly on my mic, so I'm not sure how well, if this will sound like louder than it is, but this is fine. I could use this no problem uh, with the speakers from the, the Peloton, and I'm getting a nice breeze from it. Level two, it's a stronger breeze, so this will be good for a tough ride, but it is louder, and I'm gonna test it with headphones in a second. Level three is quite loud, but very windy. I probably wouldn't use this. I think it might dry my contact lenses out. It's quite a powerful little fan. I've got my headphones in, and I'm gonna put the first level on. So this is the normal volume that I would have a class at. I feel like I might have to turn the volume down. <laughs> I can't hear the fan. Level two. I can't hear the fan. Level three. I still can't hear the fan. And just to compare on a sound test, there's the Nordic track on full fan. On the other side here, I've got the Trubler Fit one. And I don't know about you, but I can still hear the Nordic fan fan over the top of this one. Maybe more of an in-depth test there than needed, but it blows just as hard as the Nordic Trap fan, which I love, and it's slightly quieter, which I also love. Let's move on to the next product. Next is the shoe hanger. So typically, I hang my shoes here when I finish the ride. I don't know where you put yours. And then quite typically, and this isn't staged, <laughs> this fell off earlier and frightened the life out of me, they fall off. 
Uh, and it also means because the shoe is kind of wedged on the weight there, um, it also means that the shoes kind of get a bit of a funny shape to them, which is maybe adding to the wear and tear. And what you may not know about Peloton Bike Plus is if you've got a Peloton bike, you can get a shoe hanger. I'll do a cutaway to the shoe hanger. Um, they've been around for a while, but I've not seen a shoe hanger for the Peloton Bike Plus. And what you may not have seen is that little um, kind of bolt there that's on the bike. And the reason that's there is that when you push the seat back, it doesn't go past the bolt and you don't fall off the back of the bike. But what you can do is hook on the True Blue Fit shoe rack holder. I'll just take it off so you can see. So it fits four shoes and then it's got a hole in and then that little hole just sits on top of there. That just looks so much better than just having a pair of shoes laying around, doesn't it? And I haven't got anything more to say about that shoe holder, except for it's brilliant and I really like it. Finally, we have this. <laughs> and it's actually, even though I know what it is, it's kind of impossible, it's hard to fathom it without fitting it. So let's get it fitted. And it goes just down here. We're gonna attach it here. Now, if you've got a Peloton bike, uh, you will have two bolts here. On the Peloton Bike Plus, you can see there's only one. So if your handlebars ever start to wobble, it's more than likely that, it just needs tightening up. So let's get this fitted and we're gonna put it here. This device is actually the hardest to fit. The reason being is it's, it's not technically very difficult, but there's just not a lot of room to work uh, with your Allen key when you're tightening up. And you just have to be really careful that you don't round anything off. This is very much a mystery product still, I know what you're thinking. But when I'm on long rides, I use two water bottles just because I get really thirsty. But it leaves me with no to but anything else. There's no shelves or anything around here. But what I do have now, is a place to store my phone, my headphone case, my keys, and also a towel. It really is really clever and quite unintrusive piece of uh, storage equipment. I'm really impressed with this one. And if you're a puffer like me, you can also put your inhaler there as well. All in all, three brilliant products from Trueblue. So all in all, three brilliant products from Trubly Fit. Trubly Flit. Trubly Fit. <laughs> I might or might not edit that bit out. <laughs> so all in all, three fantastic products from Trubly Fit. I can't say the name, but now it's in my mind wrong. I can't get it right. I'll put links in the description, as I've mentioned. US, 15% off your first purchase, and UK will be to Amazon, um, but if that link changes, I'll refresh it as soon as I can. Until next time, see you soon.